Hi, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius placements. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back, baby. What's up? How y'all doing, y'all? <laughs> so this week, we're going to go into the Witching Hour Oracle. We're going to do a one card pool. Then we're going to jump right into the IK of Tarot along with the Cosmic Insights. And we're going to go back into Kipperish as well as the Money card. So, <clears throat> I had started reading. My daughter was leaving. The people was a whole hour early. It interrupted the reading. And I'm going to be honest, when I try to edit it on the tablet, the reading does not go together. It makes the picture really small. So, we're just going to have to start all the way over from scratch. So, <clears throat> let's get it. Let's go. Um, let's see what Spirit has for you. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of Aquarius placements. Clear, honest messages on behalf of Aquarius. What is it that they need to know? Sun, moon, and Venus rising. Now, thank you, Ashe. Oh, shoot. Let me move this. Sorry, y'all. Got to move that tablet back. Okay. First card out, y'all got bewitched. You're under a spell. Somebody has a spell on you. They want to keep you. They want to hold you. The first card that we had first got out, y'all, um, the first time, it was number four, which had to do with um, somebody from your past was coming back around. I can tell you briefly what it was about. Um somebody familiar this was somebody that you knew that you and the corresponding card for the last message that i just had to erase it talked about somebody familiar that you were um was getting ready to come back into your life this was somebody that you had a partnership with the corresponding card with that would have been the two of cups so this person was either coming back to teach you a lesson because this was a soulmate type of connection this was somebody from your past that was either that was not either supposed to be there uh, full time they was there to teach a lesson and leave or this person was coming in um to have a renewed relationship that, with mutual respect and commitment for you now with bewitch though now that y'all have bewitch this time number 35 is talking about somebody here is trying to put you under a spell not good not good okay aquarius so it says that um, this person has some sort of obsession or addiction to you. And this is a uh, corresponding uh, card with this will be the devil. As you can see, there's an angel here. There's one of y'all that's an angel, which will be temperance. And the other one is a devil. And if you see the devil is the one who is holding the innocent one with the uh, halo. So this is um, somebody... Oh, Lord, this is um, somebody who might be shallow. This is somebody um, you may have cut yourself off from. Um, from uh, They may have cut themselves off from discovering true, deep, meaningful connections, even though that might be what you desire. This card represents a victim mentality and a need to blame others for your choices. You can change things at any time you choose, but you have not taken responsibility for your role in your circumstances. Now, it says uh, that this card is telling you not to blame somebody unjustly. Um, you can do stuff differently now if you so choose to. There is a need for more self-love when this card comes out, okay? So, um, it says if you continue to make bad choices, even when it doesn't feel good, you're ashamed or you will feel as though your power will slip away with every act of self-sabotage. So maybe somebody um, self-sabotaged y'all's connection. And it also says that this person, um, this particular card will appear to you when you're focused on material pursuits or some sort of get rich quick scheme so maybe somebody's trying to get rich off of you aquarius on some sort of get rich quick scheme and so they're sacrificing their beliefs to reach a goal or a certain status or level of achievement so somebody's cheating they, they're basically uh undermining the game maybe you're doing really really well and somebody sees it and they're trying their best to to uh knock you off your square so to speak aquarius so maybe somebody does not want you to uh, be on your square. And so they're doing some unfair practices to you to try to get a leg up. 
Okay, now let's move on. We're going to jump right into love. All right, spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of Aquarius placements. What is it that they need to know when it comes to love? And we just gonna, like I said, I'm starting from scratch. Oh, I do have some uh, channeled messages for y'all, but well, I'll talk to y'all about that later. I wrote them down. When I was meditating on y'all earlier. I'm going to tell you because it might be relevant to the reading considering that this said somebody put a spell on you. So I was outside grounding. And it's sunny. It's a sunny, warm day today. It's probably like in its 70s. So I'm sitting outside in the sun, grounding my energy. And as I sit there, and I'm just trying to meditate, all of a sudden, it's like the, this is like somebody had turned up the heat. It got real hot all of a sudden, right? So I'm sitting there, and it's getting hotter. And I, found, and I thought that was strange. I was like, okay, it's like somebody tried to turn up the heat. And I was like, okay, so maybe somebody's trying to turn up the heat on Aquarius. That is exactly what I saw. Somebody's trying to turn up the heat. But then a breeze came in, right? And then after the breeze came in, now I haven't been seeing my little honeybees because the weather where I'm at is then kind of dropped. So I thought that the bees was gone. But out of nowhere, a honeybee, I didn't know it was a honeybee. All I hear is bzz, 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 around my ear. So I'm thinking it's a fly or something. But it ended up being a honeybee. So this honeybee is like flying around me. Right after it felt like somebody had turned the heat up. Now, I was already sitting in the sun, but all of a sudden, I'm telling you, it was like all of a sudden heat, like a lot of heat. And then here comes this honeybee. So, you know, I always tell you when you see a honeybee, life is about to get a little sweeter, but it was coming after somebody had turned up the heat. Now, um, while I was meditating and thinking about this honeybee and somebody turning up the heat on y'all, in my mind's eye, I seen a yellow butterfly. And a yellow butterfly has to do with happiness, increased energy. It's a sign of prosperity, hope, and guidance, okay? And it's a symbol of um, optimism and warmth, okay? Now, when I was on my way getting ready to walk back in the house, I have an azalea bush out front in front of my house. Now, azalea bushes, my azalea bushes normally do not bloom until spring. But oddly, this one of my azalea bushes, I got two of them, one of them has purple flowers on it. And I never noticed it ever doing this in the middle of uh, fall. But now all of a sudden, my azalea bush is blooming at an unopportune time when it's getting ready to be cool. Now, it's a little warmer today, but it's been cool all week. Um, and then it kind of warms up, but not real, real warm like summer warm. But today, it's, it's, it's a little warmer. So I looked up the meaning of a purple azalea, and that has to do with royalty, nobility, luxury, creativity. It's given, um, you're about to be given some sort of authority who has a positive impact on people's lives. So Aquarius, some of y'all are getting ready to move into a position of authority where you're going to have a positive impact. Purple is also, like I said, a sign of nobility, royalty, and luxury and creativity. So, um... It says peace, serenity, good work. So, excuse me, not good work, good luck, good luck. So that's that's what I channel for y'all. Something with a purple azalea, a yellow butterfly, bees, and somebody, and it was all coming after somebody had turned up the heat. Now, this is my somebody turned up the heat. Somebody's trying to put a spell on you, be with you, and get you under their control. Because as we seen on your card here, that devil was trying to hold the angel okay keep this in mind this is all gonna go together all right spirit what you got for Aquarius is in love
trash box in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. Strength in the upright. Secrets in reverse. The sun in reverse. Y'all give me a second. Somebody feels like they're strong enough to just do something they want to do. Now, with trash box in reverse, this has to do with somebody looking like a clown and they don't like it. So somebody's trying their best not to look like a clown. And this is but they're they're, they're trying to do something that they want to do on their own. Um, it's like they're doing something because they want to do it. So strength here with them doing something they want to do and something about secrets being released, but somebody's unhappy. So we're going to have to clarify each card. So let's just go ahead and just start with trash box in reverse. Spirit, clarify trash box in reverse. What's that about? Somebody is going to come in and act like they want to work with you. They want the four of wands with you. They want to commit to you and they want stability with you. They're going to even come in acting like they want the three of pentacles. Like, so somebody's going to come in and act like they want to commit and grow and have stability with you, right? This is what they're going to act like. But the truth of the matter is this person is a hater. Okay. So trash box has to do with somebody who acts like a clown, but they're going to act like, you know, Maybe they're going to put on their best behavior. Instead of acting a fool, they're going to try to act real calm, cool, and collective. But this person really is a hater. They don't like something about you. Spirit, clarify hater, please. Clarify hater. Clarify hater. This person is a hater of your divine guidance. They don't like that you're on a divine path. They also want you to stop using your intuition. This person with legal issues in reverse, if you do this, then they'll stop having an issue with you uh, spiritually or on a legal le level. So, like, let's say with legal issues, that has to do with, like, divorce or breaking up. So, maybe this person's like, hey, maybe we won't be uh, separated if you leave the divine. Somebody wants you to leave your intuition behind. They want you to leave divine guidance, and then they won't have no problems with you. Whatever issue you have with this person, it'll be over. But mind you, this person is a secret hater. Okay? They're going to play cool. and But in order for them to be cool with you, you're going to have to leave something behind. This is starting to, I'm going to be honest, it sounds a lot like Taurus. Taurus had something similar to this about somebody. Um, so you might have some Taurus placements. Um, it was about somebody was trying to offer them a gift to lead the divine path. Okay, so let's talk about Nine of Cups in reverse. Spirit, clarify this Nine of Cups in reverse. What is the Nine of Cups in reverse? That's too many. What's the Nine of Cups in reverse? Nine of Cups in reverse has to do with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Swords in the upright with the Hermit in. What did I say? The Hermit in the upright, the Nine of Swords upright, and then the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody has a problem with you being independent. They don't like it. They're very stressed out about by your independence. And they are wanting you to get back into an attachment with the nine of pentacles in reverse. They don't like you single. That worries them. You being out here single bothers somebody. Okay. A lot. They're having dark nights of the soul thinking about you being single and independent and doing your own thing. And this person wants to attach you to you. With the nine of pentacles, they want to bring, hey, come on back over here with me. They do not like you out here um, single. Clarify strength, spirit. 
There's too many. Clarify the strength. Oh, right. Somebody wants to put an end to you being strong. They don't like it. They're coming in to sabotage it. They do not like you being strong at all. Woo! Somebody's trying to cut you down the size, honey. Somebody does not like the strong, independent side of you. Absolutely. Death, upright. Somebody's trying to put an end to you being a strong, independent person. They do not like that shit. You know, with the three of wands in reverse, somebody's coming in for a self. They, they come to sabotage you. For real. They, somebody's trying to come in and undermine your plans, Aquarius. And then with the Queen of Swords, somebody is going to talk to you crazy to cut your ass down to size. They do not like it. Spirit, clarify death. Wow. I was not expecting that. Clarify death. Clarify death. Death is clarified by the fool upright, the lovers upright, and the world reverse. So yeah, somebody basically is saying this. Listen, they don't like the strong, independent side of you. They don't like it. They want a new start. So somebody wants to put an end to you being strong and independent, and they want to come in and with the fool card and the lovers and the world reverse. Somebody wants to come back to you, and they want a brand new start in love because they don't like this this independent Aquarius thing. Mm 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 mm. All right, maybe you proved a point to somebody. Okay, you want to be sexy, single, and successful. Okay, point proved, Aquarius. Enough of this shit. I don't like this side of you. I nah, uh uh. We need to get back together. Somebody's like, we need to get back together because I, this single you, I, it's making somebody sick to their stomach. They don't like it. They don't like it. So they want to come in. Remember I said, this person does not like that side of you. Remember I said you had a hater. They want to connect to you. They don't like something about you being strong and independent. So they want to grow with you with the with the three of pentacles and the four of wands. They want to go back into a commitment. They want stability with you because the single you, they got a problem with. They hate on that single you. It's something about when you by yourself, it brings something out that somebody else cannot, they just cannot handle. <laughs> and they got to put an end to that. So the only way that they can put an end to it is if they partner up with you. Y'all got to have some love, honey. They got the rain. It looks, look, 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 look. You see how he got his arm around her? What does that look like? Does that not look the same? Somebody brought to bring your ass back under they spell. I got to bring you back in and get this shit under control. We got to end the single side of you. Because out here, when you by yourself, oh, no, nah, you, you too. It's something they don't like about you being strong. Well, let's talk about it. Spirit, what is it about Aquarius being in the strength? This bothering this person. Let's talk about strength. Clarify the strength. It's something about your strength and your independence that's bothering. So what is it about the strength that's bothering uh, the cross watching? Clarify strength. Clarify strength, please. They don't like when you're strong. because Okay, maybe this person thought that you was going to be in the five of pentacles. Right? Or maybe they're in the five of pentacles. Somebody just does not. By any means necessary, they have got to put, they don't like you strong. They want, maybe they thought, that, like I said, they thought that they was leaving you out in the cold. That you was going to be, you know, a little crybaby because you was left out in the cold. And maybe they was not expecting you to be like, no nonsense. King or queen cut them off. Like, oh no, I should stop giving to you. It, I, oh, 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 we're done? Cool. I cut your ass off. I'm not giving to you, period. So maybe you stop giving to this person and you cut them off and they did not see this happening that you was going to be like queen or king cut them off. Give me one more for a strength in the upright, please. Yeah, somebody did not think that you was be quick to cut off a twin flame connection. Maybe they thought they, they always had your nose wide open and you was like, hell no, nah, I'm gone. Bye. See you. You quickly cut somebody, you left somebody out in the cold and you stopped giving to the connection and they was not expecting it and they don't like it. So they want to go back to y'all being in a connection because by yourself, it's like, I don't know if they feel like you, 
you think too highly of yourself, but they, they want to bring you back into the connection. Let's talk about secrets, though. Somebody has secrets in reverse. Somebody wants to re reveal a secret. Let's talk about spirit. Clarify secrets in reverse. Secrets in reverse. Secrets in reverse is being clarified by the five of wands <laughs> in reverse. Seven of swords in the upright. Uh-oh. Black magic. Somebody wants to come out of chaos and conflict with you, but they're in order to come out of chaos and conflict with you, they're manipulating the situation. Somebody got that. Somebody doing heavy spell work. Because you got the seven of swords with black magic. Somebody is woo somebody got a, the, the secret is if you if you come out of conflict with somebody it's because they have done a lot of spell work somebody's doing a lot of spell work on you let's talk about why what in the hell oh spirit give me one more for secrets reverse before i clarify give me one more for secrets reverse give me one more for secrets reverse They, yeah, somebody wants you to come back. Nine of Wands. They want you to let down your guard. If you have boundaries with this person, they want somebody is doing spell work because they don't like the independent you. They want your ass back over here in a grass. They want control over your ass. Come back over here, Aquarius. So somebody doing spell work to get you to come back. Eight of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands. They want your boundaries. Uh, whatever little wall you got between in, you and them. Let that shit down. Bring your ass back over here because the independent you is just it's doing too much. I hate it. You got me out here looking like a damn fool. That's why trash boxes in reverse. They don't want to look like no fool. You, got some, you out here got somebody looking like a god dang old clown and they don't like it. You got somebody looking like a clown and they don't want to look like a clown. So in order to not look like a clown, they got to get you back in a commitment. Because when they had you in a commitment, they had more control over how stuff went. And you got somebody looking like a fool. And they tired of looking like a fool. So the only way, and they hate your independent side. They hating on that side of you. So, uh, I'm a, it's stressing them out. Somebody is stressed out. I told you they're in the nine of swords. So they're having a dark night of the soul over your independence. So they got to get you back under control. And they're doing black magic because if you stop talking to this person, you got boundaries. Let that shit down. Come back over here and uh, love on me. Somebody is not happy. So let's clarify this black magic. What kind of stuff they doing here? Black magic. They're definitely being very manipulative to try to get this back under control. So let's clarify. Spirit, clarify black magic. Clarify black magic, please. Somebody does not like your divinity. See, they're doing black magic and you're making them look bad because you look innocent. You're doing white magic. You look divine. You out here doing good shit and they don't like it. They want to dim your star. If you out here shining bright, they don't want you shining bright doing no damn black magic. I mean, uh, white magic. This person is acting like a karmic. Y'all see that? Karmic connection. So this person does not like, they're doing black magic because they don't want you to be the star. They don't want you to leave a karmic connection. Maybe this person is your karmic and they don't want you to leave. So they see you out here doing white magic. So they're doing black magic. Give me one more for black magic, please. Yeah, they don't like your innocence. You are innocent. And they hate that your innocent is making them look like an asshole, a, a devil, a trashy ass, low life. They don't like that. It's something about you is putting a spotlight on their bad behaviors. And it's making it more visible that they're, uh, something about them is ill. Like they're, it, there's an ick about them. And because you're in your divinity and you're on a divine path, it's making them, it's, it's putting a spotlight on them and they don't like it. So your light is irritating somebody's demons. 
So the demon is like, well, let me bring your ass back over here. Because then you ain't going to be out here shining like this. Then you'll be the star reversed. You won't be shining your little star because I have control over this. Because you'll be back in this toxic ass. A karmic connection is toxic. So they want you to be toxic. But right now you looking very innocent because you out here and you doing you and you're being divine. And they don't like that. Mm -mm. You don't like that. Clarify this uh, seven of uh, wands in the upright. Clarify the seven of wands in the upright. So this might try to manipulate you with black magic. That's too many. Clarify the seven of wands in the upright. So what this person is doing to get you to come back into a commitment with them, they are trying to get you to come back by the hair font reverse. They don't like you. They want you to come back. They don't like you out here doing your own thing and not in a commitment. So they're manipulating your money and your love. So they're trying to control you from having any money uh, and going towards new connections. So that's the magic. So they're doing black magic on your finances and on your love life. They don't want any offers coming towards you. And it's all because they want you to come back and they don't like you doing your own thing. So they want you to come back and get in a relationship with them. Let's talk about the sun. Spirit, clarify the sun in reverse. So they don't like you single, single, sexy, and successful. They want you out here doing what they want you to do. So clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. This person is willing to give you money. They want <laughs> they're gonna give you, they're gonna offer you something to get you to come back to them. It looks like somebody's gonna offer you some sort of new financial start if you come back. However, however, the sun is in reverse. They're unhappy or with you being all independent, but this new start is not the new beginning in love that you think it is they really are going to still have you in the three of swords so this new beginning this fake new beginning of hey we're gonna have huh, i want this new start remember what i said they want you to come back and have the fool and have new love right but that's not true what they really gonna give you is a, they're gonna offer you some money to get you back right but then they're gonna have you in temperance in reverse and uh the three of swords so they're going to have you out of balance they're going to break your heart because they got to get you back because they they hate on you they don't like you <laughs> they don't this person don't like you they're trying to break you so they're trying to get you back by any means necessary so they're going to have you in third party situations and they want to upset your balance they got to get you unhappy so they're going to break your heart so let's talk about the three of swords this person wants to break your heart let's Bring you back, make an offer to get you close, to get you to let your guard down, and then they're going to break your heart. Let's talk about it. Spirit, clarify the three of swords. They're going to break your heart by uh, telling you they got other people, other third parties or something. Spirit, clarify the three of swords. Clarify the three of swords. Oh, right. This person wants you to come back. They want to get you pregnant because they want to emotionally manipulate you. There you go right there. Judgment. Empress. Emotional manipulator. Somebody wants you to come back so they can get you pregnant and then they can emotionally manipulate you. Anything else for the three of swords? The person who's doing all this is your twin flame. Acting like a karmic. Your twin flame wants control over you. They don't like the independent side of you. It makes them look like a fool. Or an asshole. And they don't like it. It makes you look way more innocent. So they need you to get back off balance. When you're off balance, I don't know. It's like you're your... When you're out of balance, you're more of your low vibrational self. And I guess that's where they're at. So they want you to be where they're at. Misery loves company, baby. Y'all know this. All right. Let's talk about emotional manipulation. Why does this person want... Why does the twin flame want to emotionally manipulate Aquarius? Why do they want to emotionally manipulate Aquarius? Clarify. 
They want to emotionally manipulate you because they're obsessed. They're in love with you. And they're mad that you're not giving to them. So they, in, in some weird kind of way, they love you and they hate you. And they're obsessed. They are obsessed. But so it's like they want to come in and offer you love. Like they're going to give to you, but then they're not. It's like they love and hate you at the same time. Somebody loves you, but they hate you. I feel like my like I'm getting all kinds of twitches. Like you got somebody twitching, man. <laughs> like, or is that tweaking? Like, I feel like my eyes jumping. I feel like you got somebody like their nerves is bad looking at you out here like that's how i feel like yeah you making somebody feel um false persons in reverse with the queen of wands so somebody does not want to look like a false person they want to have a new they want to get something off the ground with you because you're making somebody you're affecting somebody's confidence you know you're so confident you're you're putting a highlight on somebody else's confidence and they don't like that you you have so much confidence. You are highlighting their lack of confidence. Ooh, something pulled one of my braids, and they don't like that. That it's making them feel less adequate because you have so much confidence. Uh, child, anything else, spirit? And then we moving on. This person has. They have. A, <laughs> The hangman upright, the high priestess in reverse, the two of wands, and the magician. So, yeah, this person has a bright idea to get you to stop using your third eye. That's the plan. Their plan is to get you to stop using your third eye. They want to manipulate you with the magician. So, their plan is to get you, to do black magic on you, to get you to not use your third eye. They're going to bring you close, get you pregnant, and then they're going to six of cups reverse you. Break your heart, not be nice to you. That's what they want to do. Get you close just to get you to change directions. They want you to stop trying to close yourself off and freeing themselves from them. They want you in the five of pentacles, but in order to get you in the five of pentacles, they got to act like they want the three of cups with you. And then they're going to pull the rug from up under your feet and they're going to be mean to you. So that's the, that's the goal. The goal is to act like they want to work with you and celebrate with you and then leave you with the eight of pentacles in reverse for things to not work. And then look, five of swords, leave you. Just like I said, get you to lower your guard, lower your protections, come in, love bomb you, get you pregnant and then leave, break your heart and have your third parties because now I can bring you down because see, you thought you was the shit. Now I'm about to show you you're not. Somebody's crazy. Ten of Cups reverse. Divine partner reverse. This is not your divine. This person, you don't see this person as your Ten of Cups. You don't. You feel like you want to take your offer back from this divine partner because with the Ace of Cups reverse, because this person is out here acting. They're not leaving the devils, their devilish ways behind. With the devil in reverse, they're ignoring the most high. So this person is not listening to divine guidance. This person is in the, uh, acting very low vibrational. They're not listening to divine guidance. So they're just wanting to do all kinds of evil shit to you. And they think that it's hidden that like they, they think that like you can't see it. Like they, they act like they, like with the moon, they really act like you can't see that they're trying to put 10 swords in your back. Like, but you see it. Despite the moon being here, you see that this person is trying to put 10 swords in you. That this person does not like you. That they're abusing you. They want to they wanna bring you back to abuse you, to hurt you. They don't really love you. They're just doing this because it's making your light is irritating their demons. And it's making them hate. And it's, it's like putting a spotlight on them. And I told you, you got them looking like a fool. So if you're out here looking like Miss Goody Two Shoes, then you're making them look like a mean ass. Or you're putting a, a spotlight on the things that they don't like about themselves. So it's like almost like somebody is projecting how they feel about themselves. Your light shining is making them feel bad about themselves. And they don't like it. 
And they don't like how it feels. And they don't like that you think you the shit. So it's like, oh, you think you the shit. And you thinking you miss, Mr. Independent or Miss Independent. Well, I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to love bomb you. And then I'm going to break your heart. And then now we now we even. Because now I control your emotions. I control when you're happy. I control when you're sad. I control you. That's what they want. How they going to do it? Knight of Wands. They're going to come in. And give you some dangling. They're going to try to make you feel like you're the only option that they're giving sex to. Which is not true. We've seen that they was going to hang the three of swords. So that means they're going to have third parties. And all of this is designed to get you to not ascend. They're using love to get you to cut off of your ascension path. They want you to experience bad karma. So if they can get you to leave your divine path. Then you're uh, justice in reverse. You're out of balance. You're not listening to God. This is what they want. This is what they want. They want to cause you a tower. Somebody is crazy as hell. All right, Aquarius, that's what I got for you in love. Somebody wants control over you. They don't like how your light shining makes it. Your light shining is highlighting somebody's insecurities with themselves. And they hate it. On top of, they don't like not having control over you. So they're doing black magic on your money and your love life to get you to come back to them so that they can pretend to love you and then break your heart because that will make them feel better. It makes me feel better to break your heart and know that I have control over your heart. Deal with that, Aquarius. <laughs> Deal with that. Somebody's fucking crazy. All right, let's get into the cosmic insights. I, I don't know what to say. I thought something fell. Somebody's crazy. I, I don't know what y'all how y'all feel about it, but I don't like that. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so weird. Come back, because I don't like... You feeling good about yourself because I don't feel good about myself. So you don't need to feel good about yourself. It makes me hate you. So I'm going to play like I love you and then I'm going to get you pregnant and then I'm going to leave. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Then you can, I can make you feel this small. Now you feel like I feel. And you back under my control. And I got you to leave God. That's what they want to do. Somebody's fucking crazy. <laughs> Somebody need to go steal somebody's couch. Because this does sound like some delusional shit. Spirit, what you got in love for Aquarius? Spirit says it's time to move on. Someone is unavailable and a waste of time. And this is over. You see it. They'll be back. So even though you're trying to move on, somebody does not want this to be over. So expect to hear from this person very, very soon. No, right now is not the right time to get back in contact with this person. But clearly they are going to ignore that shit. Um, challenges. Somebody is trying to create all kinds of challenges for you. Um, make a decision. You need to work on inner healing. Somebody does not want you working on inner healing. They're trying to create challenges. Caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. And at the bottom is vacation. You will be traveling soon and let go. It's time for you to make room for the new. Because a new beginning is on its way to you now. So, yeah. This probably could have some sort of addiction. Gambling or any other addiction. They, they're they very bad with their finances. And they got some sort of addiction problem. This person is, again, doing love spells on you. Somebody's doing, they're trying to be, make you bewitched. The same card we started off with, bewitched. Somebody's doing spell work. All right, let's move into the uh, Kipperish. I don't know. She got my hair. <laughs> got my hair hurting, Aquarius. Somebody doing the most, baby. Your, your light irritates their demons and, and, and highlights their insecurities within themselves. So they want to be able to project on you. They feel bad, so you need to feel bad. They want to tear your life up.
you ain't no moving away from this person. I can tell you that. It's going to be so much distance between you and this person. It's going to be unreal. Because they just don't know how to knock it off. Sometimes the only thing you can do is just move away from crazy people. And this person sounds crazy. Last one. All right, Spirit, what you got from the Kipperish for Aquarius? Real love was in reverse. Obsession is in reverse. You are not obsessed with this person. You realize that there is no real love between you and this person, especially not with them acting like this. This person is doing all kinds of death magic on you. And I don't know, there's something about a house here. We'll have to clarify. Somebody's been doing death magic on you, but you are protected with protection. Let's talk about real love. Spirit, clarify real love in reverse for Aquarius. Clarify real love. This person wants to be in a relationship with you, even though there is no real love. This person <clears throat> wants to come back into a relationship with you because they want you to leave your occupation because you're headed towards getting some sort of achievement based on your occupation. So they want you to leave your achievements behind by changing your occupation because you're headed. You, you about to be a winner. It's something you're doing, Aquarius, where you're about to get a lot of attention and achievement and they don't like it. So they try to come in and get you to leave your occupation so that you cannot have some sort of achievement. Spirit, clarify obsession in reverse. This, you're, yeah, this person is upset that you're not obsessed with them. They want to come in and they want to message you. They don't want it to be a surprise. But the truth of the matter is they don't like you being a healer. They want you to stop being a healer. Somebody out here is a healer. Aquarius, you got a, you, you're enlightened and you're some sort of healer and they don't like it. And they don't like people being, they don't want nobody obsessed with you. They don't want you having attention for being a healer. They don't want people to be excited about you having healing abilities. They want you to leave that shit behind. <laughs> clarify house clarify house what's going on with house for Aquarius this y'all really got my head hurt I'm gonna have to go sit outside because this, this is this is stressful somebody wants to travel maybe they want to come to your house somebody wants to come towards you they're doing all kinds of voodoo <laughs> on you and your house. So maybe they're doing like casting spells, not just on you, but your entire house that you live in and everybody in your house. Somebody's doing voodoo. They might even have a voodoo doll of you. This is all to keep you from ascending. Somebody does not want you in your divine path. Please watch Taurus readings if you're dealing with a Taurus or you have any Taurus placements. Or this person does. Because this will resonate. Death magic in the upright. Somebody's been doing death magic on you. Alright spirit. Clarify death magic. Clarify death magic. Somebody's been doing death magic on a sweetheart. Because they're bothered. They are. This is somebody who is trying to act like they're not a thief, but they are. Somebody is very concerned about a sweetheart. They're very bothered by this person. They got a lot of concern about you. So somebody is, uh, they don't like that you're telling the truth. They don't like that they don't look innocent. 
Somebody has been evil eyeing you and your divine. They want you to leave the divine path. They're evil not uh, evil eyeing your divine path. Clarify protection. You are protected from this person. This person wants to come in and pretend like there's somebody that you can trust. Um, use your intuition. This person has been trying everything to get you to transition into a, a RIP, honey. Some sort of death. We, but we've seen death magic. They might want you to literally die or something. They're trying to do something to your finances. They're trying to kill your finances. Spirit is not going to let that happen. You are protected. You know that, right? They're trying to kill your, your finances. But that's not what's going to happen. Mm -mm. Spirit, clarify transition in reverse. See, they're trying to kill your finances. But I'm telling you, Spirit is not going to let them kill your finances. You're protected from everything they're trying to do financially. Yeah, manipulation. Somebody's trying to manipulate your finances and your love life. Clarify uh, transition. Yeah, the person doing all this <laughs> that you're going to hear from in the distant future is your twin flame. I told you, it came out twice. Your twin flame has gone rogue. Your twin flame is Nutsy Cuckoo. Your twin flame is doing black magic and got voodoo dolls and doing all kinds of diff magic on you. Your twin flame sounds crazy. <laughs> Just straight up and down. This person... Has a lot of lust for you. <laughs> Somebody is lusting after your ass, Aquarius. This person wants to come into your life and cause a lot of destruction. They're evil eyeing you. They do not like that you are listening to your ancestors. They want you to stop listening to your ancestors with ancestors in reverse. You have protections by your ancestors and angels and spirit guides. Maybe you listen to your spirit team. They don't like that. They evil eyeing that shit. They want you to stop listening to your ancestors. They do not want you to have high honors. They want your shit in reverse. If you're a person that looking like you headed towards a position of power and high honors, no, they do not want this. They do not want you to ascend. So they're trying to use lust. To create a family with you and cause some sort of, look, family and destruction. So they want to come in lustfully towards you to create a, a family dynamic and then cause some sort of upheaval in your life. This person is evil eyeing any unexpected money you get. So they're trying to create binds. They're trying to bind your hands, trying to piss you off, make you angry. And why? Because you out here again, single, sexy, and independent child. And somebody don't want you out here doing that single, sexy, independent thing. They hate it. That's the second time this thing came out. So they don't want, they're trying to bind you up. They don't like you out here single, sexy, and independent. Oh, no, I got to bring you back in. <laughs> so this person wants to bring you back so they can abuse you. Hmm. <sighs> I just, all right. <laughs> Spirit says they're going to come in and offer you a gift to act like they want to reverse some sort of ending with you. Hey, I don't want an ending with you, Aquarius. And they're going to offer you a gift, but don't accept the gift because the real gift is they want to cause you some sort of emotional pain. Why? Because you got good karma and they hate it. So they want to bring you pain because you got good karma. Your soulmate is going to act like they don't have no Jezebel spirit when they message you to say hello. But they're not divine. Somebody is not divine. They're not acting like a divine feminine or masculine. This person is crazy as bad shit. This person is still involved with a third party who is also their third party is out here trying to undermine your work, labor, and efforts in reverse. So not only do you have your twin flame working on your finances, but now they stank ass third party is working on your uh finances neither one of these people want to see you succeed so your third your twin flame is not acting like your divine feminine or masculine and this person also has an entity attachment so both of these crazies probably got an entity if they sleeping with each other they both got an entity so somebody here is being controlled by a demonic spirit and they're doing all of this to a star seed that they're really enamored with so as much i told you as much as they hate you they love you 
This is an earth angel who is experiencing a lot of self-love. And you're a star seed, you're earth angel, you got a lot of self-love. And they're in love with you, but they want to see you broke. They don't want you to be, they don't want your star to rise. They don't want you to have money. They want, this is your opposition is doing all of this crazy shit to you, doing all these rituals on you. They doing rituals on you because they don't want you to have money or and they don't want your star to rise. So they, they want you to be out here busted and dusted. <laughs> if you get a lot of attention, they won't put an end to that shit. Not just them, but whoever is there in the third party with is assisting them on being retarded. And I'm sorry for using the word retarded. Well, I won't say retarded. My daughter told me that's a bad word. They want you to be crazy. They're trying to drive you crazy. This person does not like that you can see beyond the veil. So they want to come in and be mean to you because you're in your North Node. So they want to put you in poverty because of your divinity. They don't like you being divine. So they want to put you in poverty because you're divine. This person's crazy. Them and their third party. So somebody don't even know you. Third party don't even know you out here just bibbity bopping and booing. All right, Spirit, what you got for Aquarius and money? I ain't lying, y'all. This stuff got me. I, my, I, I got a headache. They give me a headache. Being in their energy is giving me a headache. <laughs> I'm going to go brown because it's so negative. All right, Spirit, what you got for Aquarius is money? Spirit said, make sure you take a risk when it comes to your money. Success will find you and the odds are definitely in your favor. So take a risk. Fears, don't let unknown fears hold you back from reaching your fullest potential. Step out into the unknown and that's when you truly will start to live. You are about to be very stable. Okay, you will be stable and very prosperous with stability. You need to make stability your top priority right now. Not love, not nothing else. Just focus on your stability. It needs to be the top of the list. Okay, commit yourself to consistency to be stable. Be consistent. There's a lot. Uh, there is a lack of. If the, if there is a lack of stability in your life, you need to get a handle on that. Last card out. It says science. Some of y'all need to keep an open mind. There's something unfolding for you. Something you might get into any field of science. Like um, apply a science scientific approach to your business or financial problems. Some of y'all might end up getting into like being a chemist, forensic, biochemist, or anything in the field of science. You might even decide to get into the occult sciences, honey, for all I know. But you are going to be very stable. All right. That's it, Aquarius. That's all I have for you. Um, you all, I'm running a special on readings. I'm doing a 30-minute reading for 3333 from now until the end of October. If you are interested in getting a personal reading, a 30-minute reading for 3333, email me at I am the light tarot at gmail.com okay and uh check the description box but there is a special for readings 33 33 readings 30 30 minute 33 33 reading um till the end of october um that's it please hit the like share and subscribe hit the notification bell and you know when i upload um thank you aquarius for joining me and i apologize that you got some insecure crazy person them and their karmic doing third their karmic third party doing a lot of work on you and it's a shame it's sad that this is your twin flame but y'all ain't the only one with a crazy twin flame it's across multiple signs and a lot of readers are picking up on this situation where somebody got twin flames this just didn't went crazy they acting like pure devils and hell on wheels Stay prayed up. Don't lose, don't leave your divinity for this crazy person. And don't let them back in your energy to get you pregnant and leave you all messed up just to get you off your path. Don't, don't do that. Stick with God. Keep praying. Keep listening. Keep doing what you need to do to stay divine. Don't act like them. Because you see, they, they acting. This low energy, that demonic entity got them acting a plum fool. And you don't want that, so you stay prayed up and following the divine path, and you will be all right. Now, you got free will. You do what you want to. But I'm telling you, you will be better off if you stayed on the divine path and listening 
to the divine and your spiritual team. That's it. That's all I got. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You know when I upload. Until next time, Aquarius. Bye, baby.